I don't know what it means to give up. And it's one of the things I also love about the EFF. Yes. The EFF is a party of people who don't give up. Fearless. Who stand, who are fearless, mm -hmm. who are fighters. Mm -hmm. The commander-in-chief, Comrade Julius, and the other leaders of the ANC Youth League when they were expelled from the ANC. Absolutely. They turned it around. Mm. They made it something immensely positive. They came forward with the formation of the economic freedom fighters. Mm -hmm. And it became a new hope mm. for the future of our country and for yeah. the youth of our country. And I love the indomitable spirit mm -hmm. of people such as our commander in chief. Mm. But now let's try and understand who Karl Nehans is and where, where do you originate from? Titus, I'm 64 years old. Mm -hmm. I was born 64 years ago mm -hmm. in a small town in what was then called the Western Transvaal. Now it's the Northwest Province, mm -hmm. Zierest. All right. I grew up in a conservative white Afrikaner family. Mm -hmm. And at the age of 16, for the first time, and this is also an indictment about the kind of apartheid racist society that I lived in, for the first time at the age of 16, mm -hmm. I went to Soweto. Okay. And I was absolutely appalled and shocked by the conditions that I saw there. I remember I went into one of the mining hostels and the squalor, the yeah, the terrible conditions under which people were living mm -hmm. shocked me because I made the contrast between the comfortable middle-class white Afrikaner life that I was living mm -hmm. and what I saw the majority of South Africans living and suffering under. Mm -hmm. And that changed my life. It was a kind of watershed moment yeah. in my life. And I started asking questions, but... How can we tolerate apartheid? How can apartheid be acceptable? Oh. And it was a couple of months after I went into Soweto that the Soweto 1976 uprisings, yeah. June 76 uprisings yeah. happened. Mm -hmm. And I remember I went to my all-white, all-Afrikaans school in Witpoorki, a very Afrikaans lower middle class suburb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I said, but I think the young people in Soweto are correct to protest. Yeah. They are right to rise up against this oppression. Yeah. And by the way, Soweto was the epicenter of political Absolute. uh, uh, activism yes, at yes, the time. Yes. You, mm -hmm. you remember how Mama Winnie Manikazela Mandela's mm -hmm. home was part of that yes. epicenter, mm -hmm. the home in the Lakazi Street, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the role that she and many others yes. played together with the very courageous young people mm -hmm. who stood up against the apartheid system, yeah. were faced by the security police and by the army. They sent in the armored vehicles. They killed literally thousands of people. I mean, I don't think up to this day we know exactly how many young people were killed in 1976 and the resistance of the youth subsequently. Mm -hmm. But we're sitting here in a revolutionary home. Mm -hmm. And we know the role that Mama Winnie played in being with the youth. I don't want to say support the youth. She was mm -hmm. with them. Yes. She was one of them. She was their leader. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Mama Winnie was one of those courageous people who never left the country. She stayed here. Yeah. She stuck it out. She faced the security police and the oppression. Head on. And that is something... We should always remember, and I think she is a guiding light mm. for all of us on resistance and not allowing yourself to be coward. Yeah. Many years later, when I was sitting with Mama Winnie in her home, mm -hmm. she looked at me and she laughed. She says, my boy, I don't know what it means to give up. Mm. And that's what I love. And it's one of the things I also love about the EFF. Yes. The EFF is a party of people who don't give up. Fearless. Who stand, who are fearless, mm -hmm. who are fighters. Mm -hmm. You remember what happened to 
the commander-in-chief, Comrade Julius, and the other leaders of the ANC Youth League when they were expelled from the ANC. Absolutely. Now, many people would just give up, mm -hmm. would feel defeated. Yeah. Instead, out of that negative event that happened, that expulsion, they turned it around. Mm. They made it something immensely positive. They came forward with the formation of the economic freedom fighters. Mm -hmm. And it became a new hope mm. for the future of our country and for yeah. the youth of our country. And I love the indomitable spirit mm -hmm. of people such as our commander-in-chief, our deputy president, Comrade Floyd. Mm -hmm. They're not giving up. Yeah. And I think it is that spirit of fighting, mm -hmm. of not giving up, that also meant mm -hmm. that the decision was that this headquarters of the EFF mm -hmm. had to be called Winnie Marikazela Mandela House yeah. because it epitomizes the spirit, the heart mm -hmm. of what the economic freedom fighters is all about. Indeed. Now, let me take you back uh, a little bit. I want to understand what type of uh, upbringing you have had. How mm -hmm. would you describe your up, uh, upbringing as an Afrikaner? Um, I mean, during apartheid, uh, obviously white people, Afrikaner were, Afrikaners were in fact privileged. And why and how was it, wh how were you able to in fact, um, you know, enter into the political array, uh, arena and uh, become an activist at the time, um, mm -hmm. your background, your parents, were, did you get in, any support? As I said, I grew up in a very conservative mm -hmm. white Afrikaner home in yeah. a very small conservative Afrikaans town. Yes. Zierest. Must have been very difficult for you. And there you have it, guys. Our African leaders are really trying their best um, to manage Africa's challenges as much as they are. And um, when we show these speeches here on this channel, um, we actually encourage to share our thoughts in the comments. Uh, and so whatever it is you guys think about these speeches, please do share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please share and like and subscribe because that's the way you support Kwasami as a channel, an Afrocentric channel, uh, where we try to understand um, deeper issues in African history and hopefully develop um, a collective intelligence on how we wish to build the Africa we want to see as people of Africa. See you in the next one.